What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and today's quick tutorial is on highlighting columns via parameter. So what we're going to build is this dashboard. We have category, subcategory, and then we have the measures broken down, sales, profit, quantity, and discount. And what a user can do is when they select profit, we're going to highlight profit. It's going to rank from top to bottom. If they want to change that, they can also hit bottom, and you can see now it's from bottom to top. And this is just a nice little way that a user can select on a metric and it highlights for them so they know what they're looking at. So let's jump right into it. We're going to use a sample superstore. And what we need for this is two parameters and we're going to need seven calculated fields. Four of those calculated fields are just for the color. So it's not too bad. So let's jump into it. First, we're going to do select metric. So go ahead and create this parameter. It's select metric. It, the data type is a string. And we will give it values. Sales, profit, quantity, discount. These are the, the measures you want to sort by. So once you get that created, let's hit OK. Next parameter we're going to create, we'll name it sort by. This is also a string, and the values are going to be top and bottom. So get that created and hit OK. Next calculation we're going to create is sort column. So what this does is when top then it's going to rank the metrics selected. So cells for instance in this case it's going to rank it from top. When it's bottom it's going to rank it from bottom to top. Okay, get that created, hit OK. Next, we'll look at metric selected. For this guy, we're just saying when the metric is selected, if it's sales, give me the sum of sales, if it's profit, sum of profit, so on and so forth. So go ahead and get that created and hit OK. One of the tricks to this are these columns that we have up here. And it's called axis. So let's look at that. And all this is, is a value of 100. And what we're doing here is we're doing for each measure, we're giving it a dual axis. And we're using this axis, which I will show you here, is a bar. If we go to more, if we look at two, you can see that we have a bar again. And now we're using cells color to color this bar blue. Say we switch out of cells and go to profit. You can see that that cells color is null. We gave it a value of white, so it looks like it's not highlighted anymore. So let's go ahead and look at the color calculation. So for cells color, we can hit edit. Go ahead and create this calculation. It says if select metric equals cells, then we're going to rank the sum of cells descending order and and we're going to do that for cells. We're going to create that same calculation for profit, but we'll use profit and sum of profit. We'll do that for quantity and sum of quantity. And you also create that calculation for discount. There you have it. That's all you need to create this dashboard. And as always, I'll publish this to Tableau Public. And I'll put a link in the description. All right. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's quick tutorial on highlighting columns via parameter.